Okay, so our experiment here, we have an unknown concentration of copper 2 sulfate. So we're going to try and measure this in two different ways. One is we're going to do a gravimetrical analysis. And the other one is we're going to do an absorbance calibration curve using 0.5 molar copper 2 sulfate. So first I need my mass and my filter paper. And what I want to do first is I want to now take this and I want to mix some of the copper 2 sulfate with some barium nitrate. So I'm going to try and measure out most of my solution, not all of my solution. And hopefully I'll be able to get 50 milliliters there. Still have plenty left over. It's like I should. There we go, 50 milliliters of solution. Looks like I have just enough left to do my absorbance later. So what I want to do with that is I'm going to mix that with some barium nitrate. Now the barium nitrate is 0.2 molar. And one of the conditions of this experiment is that the copper 2 sulfate cannot be greater than 0.08 molar. So I really don't need as much barium nitrate as I do the copper sulfate unknown concentration. So I'm going to get about 20 milliliters here. And mix the two. Okay, and when I mix those, you see that precipitate forming. Make sure I get all of it there. And okay, just a quick little smidge, just in case. I want to give plenty of excess to the barium. that way we can be certain we're well above that. Okay, so what we now want to do is we want to figure out how much barium sulfate formed. So for that we need to do a filtration. Like this. And I'm going to start this off with a little bit of distilled water to get this hold in place. start filtering. All right, so that'll be our first step, and then I'm going to go ahead and set up the calibration stuff next. Now we're going to go ahead and set up our calibration curve. I just finished calibrating the instrument, so we've zeroed that. And what we're going to do first is we're going to put any sample of copper sulfate in there. So I'm going to use my really concentrated one. Let's actually go with a little less. And when I hit play here on full spectrum, it's going to show me where it's absorbing light. So it's going to run through all the different wavelengths of light, and we can see from violet to red, and then on into infrared. And what we see there is that there's very little violet and blue and green and even yellow, but when we get to orange and especially red, we see a lot of absorption. So we want to pick a wavelength in there. So if you hit stop, you can actually click on where the peak is. Oops. So we can click on here and see about what the wavelength is. But we're going to go ahead and go on the visible wavelength, which is over here at 700. So we're going to take this out. And what we're now going to do is we're going to switch modes. So we're going to go to from full spectrum to events with entry. And we're going to type in the concentration. And then for our units we can go with molarity. And 
this carter will do. Now it's got it's currently at 708 nanometers, which is fine, a little into the infrared range. And every time we put in our solution now, it's going to give us the absorbance. So I'm going to take our 0.5 molar, put that in there, and our absorbance should, should go up. And we're going to hit play, and what that's going to allow us to do is it's going to allow us to keep these values into a graph form. So as soon as my absorbance here levels, then we're going to keep that value and we're going to type in the concentration. It looks like it's a little all over the place. We'll keep that in mind as we go. So let's keep that. And we're going to type in 0 0.5 molar. Okay, we're just going to keep doing that for all the solutions. And what this is going to do is it's going to plot us for it. Plot, us, plot the whole thing for us. So again, here we see our absorbance. And it's steady. We're going to keep that. And that is 0 0.1 molar. And we can see that line forming. So we'll continue on. So 0.309, and we'll keep. And that was 0 0.05. Okay. And we'll go ahead and keep that. And this is 0 0.02. Okay, and you can see that we're kind of developing this line where as the concentration goes down, we get less and less absorbance, and proportionally so. So our last value here is 0 0.001. I'm sorry, 0, 0.01 and we have our graph. Now when we hit stop, we can then create a line of best fit. Now we can see here that probably might not be a bad idea to get rid of that data point there, but let's go ahead and run it with it. So curve fit, we're gonna select our data, and then we're gonna do a linear analysis. And that looks like a decent fit there. It looks like we really could do without the 0.5 and we'll probably get a little bit greater slope, but nothing terrible there. So we get Y, which is the absorbance, is equal to 4.4704 times the concentration plus 0.074859. We know that at zero, it should be zero, so we should have a y-intercept of zero. That's not too far off from it. So we can go ahead and take that equation, and then the other thing we can do is we can go back to the meter here now, take out our last solution, and we can go ahead and plug in our unknown. So now we can plug in our unknown and get its absorbance, which is point. Looks like 0.219. We can go back here to our graph and fit that into our curve. So 0.219, we can plug in for the absorbance as y, subtract the b, divide by m, and get the concentration of our original copper sulfate. So we're now at a point where our filtration is almost done. And you can see up here we've trapped this white salt, that's your barium sulfate. And then the copper has gone through down below, so you can see a blue hint to the solution down here. Uh, and it's clear because there's no precipitate in it, but we still have the copper going through. What we're gonna do now is, as this is continuing on through, we're gonna just rinse it a little bit with some water. And the reason for that is, even though we can't see it, there's probably going to be a little bit of the copper salt that still lingers here. In fact, I can see a little spot of blue right here. I'm going to try and get with some water. Um, and we want that to go through so that our mass is just to the barium sulfate precipitate and nothing else. So we're going to let that wash one more time, and then we're going to let it dry overnight. And then we'll come back and get our mass, and we'll be able to figure out our concentration. So now that we're done... And this is dried, we have our white barium sulfate salt. We're going to take that and get our mass of that.